Makers. It's a Friday morning here. It's beautiful. And uh, today we're going to get out there and we're going to kill it. We're going to smash it. It's going to be a great day. So this morning I'm out to another client site to do uh, more stuff, just miscellaneous stuff. I think there's a fair bit of automation on the cards today um, and continuation of a security audit and uh, lots of other you know, fun little bits to, to keep myself busy. Last night I saw on Twitter that the, uh, the XSS rat had uh, bought one of my uh, hoodies, one of my merch store hoodies and uh, posted about it on um, on Twitter, which is awesome. That's really nice of him to do. Um, and to, to, you know, support the channel by buying some merch. So, what a legend. Uh, if you want to go check out that post, go to, to Twitter and search the XSS rat. Uh, you'll, you'll find it there. He's such a nice guy. I really like that dude. <laughs> anyway, today's video, what I thought I would talk about, instead of just rambling on about life and stuff, and, uh, you know, merch and, and rats, is... The number one question that comes up every time someone joins my Discord server, not every time, but I would say like very often. <laughs> that question is how do I get started in cybersecurity? When people now ask this question in, in Discord or on my YouTube videos, I usually just share to them one of the, I don't know, six, seven, eight videos I've made on YouTube before on this exact topic. The title of the videos are like, how to get started in cybersecurity. <laughs> this isn't a rant about people asking, you know, silly questions or anything like that. It's it's not like that at all. It's more like, perhaps those videos are, are not what people were expecting or just not helpful enough. Um, even though I've, I've really tried to like, make videos where it, it sort of covers all bases. Now from the very small amount of research I've done on this topic on the people who are asking these questions, it seems like most of these people are still in high school. So if you're in high school, remember to smash like, first of all. Now, second of all, the stuff that you don't really want to hear about is the fundamentals of IT that you need to know before getting into cybersecurity. Those are networking, Linux, and some basic programming skills. Now, having those sort of skills is very important and you can literally search on Google right now what are the fundamentals of IT and you will get a very in-depth list. I don't want this video to be, you know, super in-depth and I want it to be very broad and just hitting the one part of this question, which is how do you get started in cybersecurity when you're in school? Now, if it were me, honestly, I would, I would just continue on with school because getting school done is hard enough on its own. Actually, just like completing school is is quite hard. I mean, there's a lot to it. Wow, I just watched a uh, cyclist almost get killed by someone and uh, then he started beating up on that person's car. Very interesting Friday morning. If you really do want to though, take your learning to the next level while you're in high school, there are a bunch of programs out there that I'm sure you've heard about already if you have been sort of searching online for you know how to get started. The two main ones of these are CTF websites because everything has been gamified these days and those are tryhackme.com and hack the box. Now these websites were initially designed exactly for your target market. They were really honestly made for people who were either in uni or just about to go into uni to study cybersecurity and to to basically have a little bit of extra knowledge that wasn't being given to them in their university courses or degrees or whatever the hell it was that they were studying they found that a lot of the degrees at the time were not covering these topics it wasn't fun to learn so that's why these websites were made go and check them out I'll put a link in the description but yeah that's that's basically how to get started all you really need to do is learn the fundamentals which I've, I've told you just go to Google to search out what they are and get more in-depth knowledge on the fundamentals of IT and to do some CTFs you don't really need to do any certifications yet you could look at trying to get yourself into some experience something like the safer internet project might be good but there is an age cap on that of 18 years or older because of various insurance related things and yeah there's always like work experience and you know looking at what you should do at a university if you're going to go to university i mean there's there's so many variables to this question it's really hard to give you a solid 
this is exactly what you should do to get into cybersecurity answer. It doesn't, it doesn't really exist. <laughs> anyway, that's my four and a half cents worth on, on exactly how to get into cybersecurity. If you're still in high school, I'd love to hear what your recommendations are for this exact topic though. So as it is Friday this weekend, uh, there's a few things coming up for me. Uh, every weekend I, I do a little bit of a pump of various different cryptocurrencies. It's basically just dollar cost averaging because the market is so crazy. It's always up and down. So I, I don't really look at the um, like how much profit and loss I've got. I just have a look at the amount of money invested in the various coins that I invest in. I'd like to hear though what your investment strategies are for this weekend. What you're hoping to, to get a win out of. Uh, over the, the short term, so over the next you know six months or so, what you're hoping to get some really good returns on, because that's that's the, where the fun is in investment, right? It's, it's when you start making wins. I'm a massive believer in diversification of your portfolio, and I want to make a video on this, but I just haven't sort of structured it or, or done it yet. But yeah, I think that would be a really interesting topic to, to talk about. Other things on for me this weekend, I've got to go out to a, a rental property to do some more renovations. I've got to actually start painting the interior now because all the floors are uh, varnished and finished and, and nice. And I'm also going to have a look at a Frisbee. I found a Frisbee that I, I want to buy um, because it, it looks cool and I, I want to get into, uh, you know, throwing a Frisbee around on a weekend because I think, you know, what what's more fun than just, you know, being a kid. Saying that though, I think Frisbee is is becoming more of a, a popular thing and um, I'm, I'm not investing in Frisbees or anything like that, don't, don't get me wrong. I just think it'd be kind of fun to throw a Frisbee around and I was looking on online last night at uh, different Frisbees and I saw this one, it's a Patagonia Frisbee but and I know the brand is usually expensive but the Frisbee is not. It's about the same price as every other Frisbee I've, I've seen. Um, that looks half decent. Um, but this one looks super cool. It's got like little specks in it and stuff. And yeah, I, I love it. I think it's gonna be sick. So I'm gonna go and buy one of those at the Patagonia store. Um, but I'm not gonna stick around in Brisbane to find that store. I'm gonna go to the Gold Coast store. So have a nice little drive to the, the beach and you know have some lunch and chill out and, and get a Frisbee. <laughs> such a dork it's just unbelievable anyway thanks for watching this video guys it's been a bit of a rant and ramble about various topics but that's kind of what i like doing and and that's what you guys come here for so if you enjoyed this video please do smash like subscribe for more and i'll see you all on the next video catch you later